Bible tells husbands that they are to love their wives even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it. And then 1 Peter 3 verse 5 says, The wife is said to make herself beautiful as she lives in submission to her own husband. The love chapter, of course, is 1 Corinthians chapter 13. And it says that love is very patient and kind, never jealous or envious or boastful or proud. It's never haughty or selfish or rude. Love does not demand its own way. It is not irritable or touchy. It does not hold grudges and it hardly even notices when others do it wrong. It's never glad about injustice, but rejoices whenever truth wins out. If you love someone, you'll be loyal to him or her, no matter what the cost. You'll always believe in that person, always expect the best, and always stand your ground in defending that one. At this time, if you step forward, and we will at this time exchange your wedding vows. If you face one another, repeat after me, Rob, you first. I, Rob, I, Rob take me, Julie, take me to be my wife, to have and to hold from this day forward for better, for worse, for richer, for poor, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, to death do us part. Julie, if you repeat after me, I, Julie, take thee wrong, to be my husband, to have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse, for richer, for poor, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, till death do us harm. As we enter now into a time where the uh, rings will be exchanged, let me just simply remind you that the ring is a symbol, it's an unbroken uh, circle symbolizing unending love and everlasting love. Time, I'd like everyone, if you would, to join me for a word of prayer as we ask God's continued blessing on these two and their life together. Father God, we come to you right now and we thank you, Lord, for the blessings that you give to each one of us. God, we thank you for the uh, blessing of marriage and, and to, to have someone to experience and go through life with. Father, we thank you for bringing Rob and Julie together and for the blessings that you've already uh, given to them, for the families that you bring together. And Lord, we just uh, we thank you, God, that, uh, that you bless in the way that you do. Father, we know that life is full of ups and downs and, and uh, that you help us uh, uh, through it all and you're there to experience it with us. We thank you and we ask your blessings on these vows that they've exchanged, on the rings that will symbolize their unending love, the love that you give through and to them. We thank you and we pray this in Jesus Christ's precious name, the author of love. Amen. <coughs> you have your rings, Rob. You've got them ready. <laughs> All right. Rob, if you'll take the ring and place it on the ring finger of Julie's left hand. And repeat after me. With this ring, I thee wed and give to you my life, my love, and all my earthly goods. Julie, if you'll place the ring on the ring finger of his left hand. Also repeat after me. With this ring, I be wed, and give to you my life, my love, and all my earthly goods. Inasmuch as Rob and Julie have consented together in holy matrimony, and have made these pledges before God, and before these friends and these family members, and have given and pledged their love, declaring such with the giving and the receiving of a ring, my privilege now to pronounce that you are husband and wife. Wherefore they are no more two but one flesh. And what therefore God hath joined together, let no man separate. Rob, you may get your breath.
See your boots. Show your boots. <laughs> Woo! Show you what? Boots. <laughs> 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 